How's everyone doing? It's David Smith again, facility coordinator at Sarkis Fitness Center here at the University of Oklahoma. I am back again with another basic strength workout, but with minimal equipment this time. The last one was just body weight, being able to go out with absolutely nothing except yourself, outside, inside, and knock out a pretty good workout. Today, as you can see, very minimal equipment. We got a couple of dumbbells right here and a couple of kettlebells of different sizes. If you happen to have these items at home or something similar to it, feel free to use them um, as we go through this. Like I did before, I'll explain the exercise to you. I'll show you the exercise, show you a couple different variations of that exercise and how it's going to be performed into the next one and so forth. So before you start, make sure you're properly warmed up. Whatever your warm up may be, it's gonna be different for everyone. Jump rope, bike, walk, treadmill at home, whatever it may be, get a nice little work warm up going, get some sweat on your brow going, get that heart rate up, get some breathing, some heavy breathing going, all right? So make sure you're properly warmed up. Each exercise will be one minute, during that minute, you go as hard and fast as you want to go. This is your minute, okay? So during that minute, someone might be able to knock out anywhere from 15 to 20 reps of a particular exercise. Someone else might be able to double that, triple that, all right? You do what you can do at your pace and what you're comfortable with doing. Simple as that. If you feel something's not right, something doesn't feel right, something hurts, stop immediately, reset, and either skip and go to the next exercise or do a modification if you know what modification best suits you and your body, okay? So starting off first is the dumbbell or kettlebell chest press. So first I'll start with the dumbbells. You're gonna lay on your back feet planted elbows out to the side holding the weights you're gonna come all the way down till you hit the floor push up bring them together right back down If you only have one dumbbell at home, brace yourself, use one. You can go for 30 seconds and then switch sides. The range of motion is the same. You want to bring it up above your face. If you have kettlebells, you can do the same thing. Elbows out to the side, bring them in together. It doesn't matter that you have two different weights. So since we're going for time, we're going for one minute, 30 seconds, switch sides, another 30 seconds. Same thing, if you only have one kettlebell, brace yourself out to the side. One arm at a time, 30 seconds. Switch sides. Don't forget to breathe, like I said before. If anything feels uncomfortable, doesn't feel right, pain, stop immediately, okay? So there's a couple different variations you can do. If you don't have that going into these exercises and the following exercises, feel free to do some push-ups then, all right? Next up is a goblet squat. So we're going from chest and arms, skipping down to the body. 
lower body. So, goblet squat, you want to start with your dumbbell, shoulders, feet shoulder width apart, elbows out to the side, you're holding this weight against your chest. Collapse those knees, go down as far as you're comfortable with going, come right back up and squeeze the glutes. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can hold it in this position. Whatever's comfortable for you. Using a kettlebell, same thing. Holding the weight in front of you, squatting down, flip it upside down. Some people prefer to hold it this way. Or if it bothers your elbows and your shoulders, let the weight just hang in front of you. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. So you'll perform the exercise for one minute as well. Same thing, if it doesn't feel right, stop, reassess, check your form, move on to a different exercise or a modification. Bend over rows. So now we're doing back. Bend over rows. You wanna be about a 45 degree angle, back straight in line with your head. The weight's gonna hang in front of you naturally. We're not out here and we're not back here. Just natural hang. You're going to row those dumbbells up. And in the top position, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. If you get tired, alternate. If you don't have dumbbells and you have kettlebells, same thing. Doesn't matter that they're two different weights. What we will do, same position, row. Since we're going for time, 30 seconds, switch. Make sure you protect that back, keep it straight, no slouching, chest up and out, head up. If you only have one, Perfectly fine. Brace yourself on this leg without the weight, and you're rowing. One side. 30 seconds. Switch. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Excellent work. Next up, shoulder press with a little bicep curl in it. Um, different names for this exercise, military press with bicep curl, Arnold press, whatever you call it. So, starting position is right here. Just focus. Starting position, right here, you're going to press up and twist out, bring it right back down. See my elbows are aligned with my body. And breathe, when you exert force, bring it back down. Another variation to really engage that core. Be on your knees. Don't have your toes tucked in. Have them flat. That's gonna cause you to really keep your core tight so you're not swaying back and forth. So it's a little more advanced. Same thing if you don't have kettlebells, don't have dumbbells, but you do have kettlebells. Two different 
weights perfectly fine. Same thing, we're gonna start this position, palms facing you, press up, right back down. Two different weights, so at 30 seconds, switch. If you only have one, brace yourself, whatever's comfortable for you, and you're going to twist out as you come up. Excellent. Core. So, Russian twist. It's a good one. Everyone really likes the Russian twist in my class. You can hear them moaning already. So, be in the seated position, weight in hand. If you don't have weight, feel free to just body motion back and forth using your hands. So, side to side. Feet are touching the ground. We're gonna go for a minute. An advanced move, if you really want to up the intensity, lift those feet up. So same thing, you can use dumbbells, kettlebells, no bells at all. So all those exercises, one minute each, five minutes, it's one round. Take a breather, grab some water, go back, do it again. Knock out two, three, four or five rounds if you're up for it. All right, any questions, go ahead and throw us some comments, some questions, we'll get some answers to you. Thank you all, be safe. See you later.